Hi Aquarius, let's do your monthly reading for September. Just smudging the cards a little bit, clear the energy, okay? All right, now let's get this going. First, let's take a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle to see an overall energy for you. These are not sliding well for some reason. There they go. Sort of. <laughs> okay. By the book. There you go. Now let's take a card from the Spirit Animal Oracle. These aren't really wanting to slide very well either. Hmm. Brown bear spirit, take a time out. Okay, let's get this started. Let's see what your energy is for the night. Oops. Pull two of them, so we need to take them both. The first one is the Ten of Wands, which is an ending. You are putting down your burdens. You are done. No coincidences here. And you are moving away from what no longer serves you to a place that does serve you. So that is your energy for the month. Amending and moving to something that's better. Okay. Let's take a card for your challenge for the month. Maybe that's why those other cards weren't sliding so well because it looks like it might be a challenging, at least beginning to your month. Or, you know, oftentimes, if it is an ending, sometimes, you know, there's times it makes you very happy that the ending is here. So it might be good. You might enjoy this ending. But I would know I would enjoy putting down a bunch of burdens. Okay, here you go. Your challenge for the month is the Ten of Cups, which is absolutely beautiful. So your challenge is finding your happiness for everybody that you love. Okay, let's get a card for your focus. The moon. Okay, the moon can have different meanings. But the most important meaning about the moon is use your intuition. It's extremely important. The story that I tell with this card is it's what you feed. You have a good side and a bad side. If you feed the good side, the good side will grow. If you feed the bad side, the bad side will grow. Whatever side you do not feed will wither and die. Okay? So this is your focus. And to me... Um, it would make perfect sense, especially given this group. You want to feed the good side. You want to get rid of the bad side. Okay, this came flipping. Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a no-nonsense energy. She doesn't want a lot of niceties, that sort of thing. She wants to get to the point, and she wants the truth. Now, you can see where her hand is out like this. That means she does have compassion, but she doesn't want all the niceties. She wants to get straight to the point. Okay, now let's see what your strength is. Beautiful. Judgment. Turn these down a little. Can you still see them? 
judgment talks about having a huge spiritual awakening, okay? You need to realize that you are destined for so much more. So this is like your cosmic up-leveling. Be ready to turn into a higher frequency, which is a great card for your um, strength. So far, all this fits together so well. Okay, let's get a card for your future. Beautiful. Look at that. That is the Nine of Cups, which is like the ultimate happiness. It is a solitary energy, but you're just totally content, totally happy, which is beautiful. And if you look at this compared to what's right next to it, that's the Ten of Cups. The difference between the two is this, sol this is solitary, and this includes everybody you love. So, wonderful. Okay, let's get a card for your course of action, how you should go about this. Take a nap. Well, not really, but it talks about taking a rest. And oftentimes, what it's saying is, you have reached your first milestone. Rest, recuperate, uh, meditate, things like that. Prepare. Let your body build back up and your spirit and your mind build back up to go forward. And I can see this is, you know, a very busy, potentially heavy moment. So, be prepared. Prepare yourself by resting. All right, what you need to know. Hmm. Four of Pentacles. That's an interesting one. The Four of Pentacles is holding on tightly. And it's Pentacles. But I personally believe it can be anything. So I would say that means that you're holding on tightly to something. Okay, let's get a card for hopes and fears. Whoop, this came flying out. Hopes and fears. That is the Six of Wands, which is a wonderful energy. What it talks about is you have gone off to battle, some sort of battle, and that could be anything. It could be literally a battle, but it could also be dealing with your thoughts, dealing with how you want to go forward, anything. And you have come back victorious. You see here's the victory wreath. And you have many people back here that are in support of you and what you've decided to do, what you've done, where you're going. So it's a very nice energy to get. Okay, now let's see the potential outcome. Beautiful. Queen of Cups. That's a very nice potential outcome. The Queen of Cups is a motherly energy. She is a type of energy that would be there and, you know, totally heartfelt. You know, come talk to me. We'll figure this out. You know, just, just like a mother. It's beautiful. So that is a potential outcome. I think we need to take a card or two to clarify some of this. One, I think we should take a card for your overall energy. Let's see if I can do this down a little way. Specifically, the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is clarified by the Page of Swords. And what the Page of Swords is about 
is learning how to think clearly and communicate with authenticity. Okay? And pages are novices. You know, they're youthful. They have a lot of energy and belief. They're, they're wonderful energies. But this particular one, like I said, is about communication, thinking clearly, and that is clarifying this, this heavy, heavy energy that's an ending. So there's got to be something with it that has to do with communication. And I could see that because over here, the queen in your recent past, she's all about communication and she's all about the truth. So something evolved, happened to where you said, that's it, I'm done. I'm putting down these burdens. So maybe you're learning how to communicate clearly and think clearly about, who knows, life, your situation. Okay, let's take a card for... The Six of Swords, because that is also part of your energy for the month. Come on, cards. Okay. That would make sense, too. You got hurt. Something happened that hurt your feelings, hurt your heart, the Three of Swords. And I can see how it fits in here. There is a problem with communication. Because you have swords, 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 and swords. And it created an ending. It must have been, you know, a pretty heavy one. And here, you are moving away from no what no longer serves you to a much better place. And I think that is quite true because look at your future. Utter happiness. So whatever happened here was hurtful. I believe it taught you some sort of a lesson. One in communication. So maybe it, there was a huge lack of communication that resulted in and you feeling like you needed to move on. Now, these can all be literal, but they can be figurative as well. You know, it, it could be your thoughts, how you think. It could be all the way to you are literally moving somewhere. Okay? But, yeah, the clarifying cards do make sense. Recent past, all about the truth. No fluff. No niceties. Just give her the truth. Something ended. Heavy, heavy burdens. Clarified by you learning how to communicate with authenticity and think clearly. Broken heart. Moving on. Okay. These totally link up. But like I said, I think it's wonderful because you have this big awakening that happened here which I think includes this group in your challenge to find your happiness for you and those you love. And I do believe it's working because your future happiness, your focus, intuition, feed the good side. Don't feed the bad side. Okay, and the course of action was to take a time out. And this is also a sword's energy, okay? Take a time out, rest, recuperate. Makes perfect sense. But I think we need to take one for the Four of Pentacles. That one isn't fitting in quite so well. And that is what you need to know. Or maybe it fits in perfectly. Just need more understanding. Ah, ah ha ha. Okay. <laughs> this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. 
It's all, the biggest message to receive from the moon is use your intuition. Your intuition is not going to lead you astray. It is there to protect you, to help you. All right? So maybe you weren't using your intuition and holding on very tightly. And maybe this is saying, use your intuition. You don't have to hold on so tight. Feed the good side and it will grow. Feed the, um, don't feed the bad side. It will wither and die, which will enable you to get your future. Queen of Cups. And your, I call it my happy family card, your happy family and you yourself being totally happy, which is beautiful. All right. Let's get a couple of cards from the universe that they would like to share with us. Huh. Another sword's energy. I think what the universe is saying here, it's talking about this hardship, this problem area. You have this ending here, which is dropping the burdens. This also is an ending card. Dropping the hurt and pain usually quite a painful ending it, I, you know so many variables I don't know but it's not an easy ending neither is this has to do with thoughts thoughts come from things thoughts can come from fears you know thoughts can come from all kinds of things but it's you got two endings that's it you're done and it has to do with thoughts so this whole section here is swords. Okay, let's see what else the universe would like to share. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is the Four of Wands which you can see the four wands. It's like two sets of two, 11, 11. And it's got this beautiful garnish up here. And um, it's like a portal. You step inside this portal. You have this and this inside of this portal. You go through an ending. You get rid of what's bad here and it results in celebration happiness and joy okay let's get one more card you know and I think I mentioned at the first of this the cards were just really not wanting to cooperate they are flowing so much better now All right. Eight of Swords. Feeling like there is so much bothering you that you just can't move. You know, you're stuck in this energy. And what you need to do is remove these bindings, take off this blindfold, see what the swords really are. Remember here, the queen, she wants the truth. And it's very hard to receive the truth when you can't even see what's going on and you feel totally bound. Once you take those off, you can see what's going on. And not only that, you can turn around and see your way to your castle. And that castle is this castle. Okay, the happiness, celebration. Total contentment with family, friends, as well as yourself. Okay, so I think the universe is 
kind of confirming this reading. And also, here, you end up with a very loving energy. All queens have their place, and they're all really good, but over here you have one that's very hard. Give me the truth. And over here you have one that is, give me the love, and I will give you the love. I will help you. Okay? And now, let's take the short version <laughs> of by the book. I'll just do a the quick, quick, quick reading of that so you can get an understanding of it. By the book, the essential meaning is abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, and universal laws. Okay. Maybe that's what you were doing, and it wasn't fitting you. I'm looking to see what else there might be there. Hmm. It says, open your eyes at the end of this. I didn't read all this, but at the end it says, open your eyes to those universal laws, and it will make it easier to go by the book. Maybe you are going by the book, but it sure looks like you're not wanting to. I actually think maybe you're a rebel. Because <laughs> you're ending this hardship, gaining this wonderful celebration. You're getting rid of this pain, gaining enlightenment, finding all this happiness and love. And the brown bear spirit, I see how this relates right here on Take a Time Out. That might be the very best way to go about this. Maybe you are so involved, you know, that it's hard to see the forest for the trees, that it's very challenging to see a realistic view of what's going on when you are that deep into it. So maybe if you do take a time out, take a little bit of a rest, you will be able to see much more clearly and be able to go forward to move away from this energy into a wonderful energy, okay, which is here. Okay, let's take a charm. Sorry, I messed up all the cards. And don't forget to check out your sun, moon, and rising for a more complete picture. Okay, you know, the universe does have a really good sense of humor, okay? <laughs> you have a helicopter. Maybe yours is going to fly right on out of this energy and over here to the happy side. But just in case, we'll take one more. What could this be? We have acorns. Two acorns. Hmm. Trying to think, what could that possibly mean? You know, oftentimes after a reading, I'll sit back and look at it, and then I have the aha moment. But the reading is done, so. Two. The one thing that keeps coming back up to me is the moon, because you have the two animals. Maybe pay a lot of attention to your intuition. And you know that intuition will give you that gut feeling that can make your stomach hurt. Pay close attention to that. Because when your stomach hurts or your belly hurts, oftentimes that's an indicator that your intuition is telling you, uh, stop, pay attention, take a look at this because something is not okay here. All right, maybe that will help you get through this. Okay, I do hope you have a wonderful month. Love and light. Take care.